Hey, what's going on, people? How are you doing today? Today, talk a little bit about the uh, the platforming thing going on and uh, with Steven Crowder and such. There's some points I wanted to make about the whole issue. Um, you know, it's really a strange thing, right? All these people on the right wing, or most of them, or many of them, as I'd say, let's say a good majority of them. Say constantly say things like government's bad, government's evil, it's horrible, it's you know, it's, it's the worst thing ever, it's, it's, it's gotta be abolished or some shit like that. Or 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 they say, well, we should just keep just enough government that we like, that we right wingers like, but everything else, no, that's bad, it's, that's evil, that's that's horrible, that's no 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 no, you know, shit like that, right? The whole night watchman deal, you know, you know the government should only. Make sure my stuff doesn't get stolen and nothing more because I say so. <laughs> Coincidentally enough, there's just enough government that that's there that I like, but everything else more than that is bad. No, no. But anyway, all of a sudden now you got uh, poor Steven Crowder along with Alex Jones and Molly Napolis and the rest, these right wingers, <laughs> um, getting deplatformed from private companies. And they try to say, oh, they're so left wing. No, not. Maybe socially they're left wing, but economically they're fucking uh, to the right. Um, you know that's a libertarian stance, but even even then, you could you could be socially you know liberal or socially to the left, but still economically right, still kind of libertarian. Either way, um, so now they're trying to you know kick up a fuss about that being kicked off a private platform, and all of a sudden you got a lot of a lot of talk on the right. All of a sudden, a lot of them like, hey, wait, we need the government to step in and ensure that we don't get kicked off these platforms or, you know, some shit like that. It's hilarious. You know, it's not a problem. I mean, these right-wingers don't see things being a problem until it affects them. Then they want a solution, engineer it up to where it just happens to benefit pretty much just that. Um, now, do I think that Steven Crowder should be the platform purely for political reasons? Or anyone else for purely political reasons? No. But the thing is, he violated the terms of service of a private company that he agreed to abide by. So I mean, they're well within their rights to, to deplatform him as a private company and as a matter of terms of service. Um, do I think there should be a process involved to ensure that he doesn't get railroaded or anyone else? Yeah, sure. I believe in, a, in an internet bill of rights, for sure. And uh, I'm in the um, I'm in the camp that where, like Cal Kalinsky from Secular Talk, very pro free speech. Um, as long as you're not you know directly threatening anyone with acts of physical attack or violence, you know. Um, so if you have a political viewpoint, you're free to express it, no matter how odious it may seem to me or others, which is really important um, because it can end up. You know, if you go down that rabbit hole, start you know deplatforming, um, you know a whole bunch of people on the right, it can end up biting people on the left too. Recently on Twitter, uh, there was a left wing artist. I forget what that person's name was, but I think it was I think it was a sh or her. But um, she she made like MAGA hats and as a form of art turned them into symbols of a hate, like turning like a MAGA hat into a KKK hood or whatever. And uh, she's left wing. She's a left winger. And guess what? Even even though she tried to label her um, content as art, it still didn't protect her account from being totally taken down on Twitter. So this shit can end up biting people on the left in the ass. Kyle Kalinske recently talked about it on Secular Talk in one of his other videos. I'm just saying it's a really tricky thing. So I'd rather err on the side of free speech than just to start silencing people just for being, you know odious to me or odious to others um, but in the strange that you know people that are on the right wing talk about the, the so-called evils of government you know all the time say it's so bad but it's so but as soon as something happens <laughs> to them like with a private company the market you know, a private market company all of a sudden they want the you know the government to step in and protect them isn't it fucking weird <laughs> yeah, it makes me laugh but uh yeah, I just thought I thought I would, thought I would share with you. Yeah, give me give me uh, your thoughts on it below in the comment section. Feel free to thumbs up, thumbs down, you know, 
subscribe if you could as I'm trying to get you know things going and I recently just hit the 200 subscriber mark too so I want to thank all my good people for getting to that point I really appreciate it and uh, also I also want to give a little shout out to uh, Ruben Garcia for upping his uh, patron amount from five dollars a month to ten dollars a month um, give a big thanks for, to you for that man and um, yeah and with that being said thanks for watching